Rods needs physical therapy. Yeah, no, before those guys get hard on me, quick. <laughs> Pablo across America, day 13, uh, 2011. We are here in Columbia, Tennessee. Uh, it looks like an, an incredible little place. Um, so we decided to stop here and do our dedication today. Um, we have a special dedication today because we're celebrating the uh, cancer-free life of uh, Adam Weber's son, Leo. And Adam is here to tell us about Leo, so you don't have to hear me do it. He's going to say it. Leo is a year and a half out of treatment for Burkitt's lymphoma. He's doing great. Um, he's in kindergarten, playing baseball, having a great time. We'll be riding bikes more this winter in Phoenix um, and uh, having a great time. Something I did want to say is just with all the kids that you celebrate that are survivors uh, the, the road's not over because he goes in for a cat scan and uh, when I get back on uh, November 2nd one every three months and then it continues for five years before you can uh, say that it's it's over um, so um, the journey continues but we're happy to be where we are thank you thanks Here's for being for here. Awesome. All right. All right. Awesome. Um, Leo. I want to point out as I often do in our videos fairly obvious things that no one ever talks about. We've seen technology in this type of a phone um, or in a Windows phone come, <laughs> come, so far, nice. come so far in the past three years, the past six years, right? Just think about the kind of progress that we can have in cancer, particularly cancer for kids, with, with direct funding of research where we treat research backing the way we treat business with venture capital. We're doing that and it's entirely possible to have the kind of gains you see with an iPhone or a Windows phone or a Blackberry in the cancer space so that kids like Leo and Brock don't have to keep going back for the rest of their lives to get scanned. And I want to point out another thing that we, that we are very much about here, which is that when we save the life of a child with cancer, we're saving an entire lifetime. That's a very serious thing. When we save somebody who's 80 years old, it's a completely different story than when we save someone who's five, who can then reach 80 years old and can live a life where they're inspired by their, by their own survival to help other people and to be somebody in the world that stands up. Leo does want to be a doctor. He does? He does. Now he's, he's six, so he might change his mind, but... <laughs> and he's a great singer. Right, Dr. Leo? <laughs> Dude, he's, a, he's an incredible he singer. He plays guitar now. We should yeah. talk. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the dude is like Neil Diamond. Like, he just belts, he just belts things out. It's incredible. Is he into, like, nine-inch nails or anything yet? Or is he not? He's not no, there. No, not quite. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs> All right, so we're rolling out down this road. Do <laughs> I have to ride at the lighter straight across? Uh,